hey guys thank you for tuning in in this video i'll be styling an afro puff extension using molding gel those who have been with me for a while know that i always ensure my hair has some moisture in it before styling it to reduce breakage if you wish to know more about hair growth i'll leave a link in the description so you can check it i'm using molding wax note that it has alcohol in it it could break your hair so do your research I'm just going over my moist hair with as little product as possible as you can see and then I'm going to use a comb to comb it through please consider giving this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and in case of any questions leave it in the comment section and I will respond to it I find it convenient using a thread to tie the hair at the top because it doesn't leave a lot of hair hanging on the side. I'm using a brush to pull some hair around the edges to continue styling. Then I'll use a tail comb to section the hair. I want to have some lines in the front. I don't know what they call that hairstyle, but you will see. Again, remember to like and subscribe. Ladies, don't forget the back part, make sure it is also as slick. To make it manageable, I braid the top part and then I will hold that with an elastic band, like so. For the extension, I fix the combs in front of the bun. I make sure the bun is inside the cape and then fasten the drawstring. And then to reduce the bulk, I'm going to tie the string around the afro and fix it with a bobby pin. And there we have it. So thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this style in the comment section and i'll see you in my next video